So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get a DIY chalkboard refrigerator for under $40. You know the old saying, when life gives you a crappy rusted refrigerator off of Craigslist, it's time to paint it in chalkboard paint with a chevron pattern because that's just what you should do. Yeah, that old saying, right? So since the last time we made a video, I moved in with my boyfriend and things are great. I love my apartment, it's so adorable. However, it didn't come with a refrigerator which is a big problem because my budget doesn't allow me to buy those nice stainless steel refrigerators that you see on commercials. So I had to go to Craigslist and I got a refrigerator for pretty cheap, under a hundred bucks, and it does the job. However, this refrigerator is disgusting. It looks like a crime scene happened on this refrigerator and it's pretty gross. I have scrubbed this thing so many times. So many stains, so, so, so many stains. So I decided when Craigslist gives you an ugly rusted refrigerator, it's time to turn it into a DIY chalkboard fridge. Everybody comes over and says I have the cutest refrigerator in the world. And I have to agree. So I figured, okay internet, it's time I share what I did to my refrigerator with all of you. You're welcome. So I decided that I wanted to paint my refrigerator in chalkboard paint because I wanted something to really stand out. Our apartment is so old and dated, it really needs something to kick it up a notch. The great thing about having a chalkboard refrigerator is that I actually write my recipes for the week right on the refrigerator. So I can write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way down to Sunday, and I can color it in and make it really cute, and it's a really easy way for me to stay on track with what I was planning on cooking. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you have an ugly refrigerator. Just do it! Why not? What have you got to lose? Well, a refrigerator. That's what, that's what you'd have to lose. Oh, there's a spider web on me! <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about refrigerators, shall we? <laughs> Here's what you're gonna need. Painter's tape, fine grit sandpaper, work cloth or paper towels, one quart of Rust-Oleum chalkboard tint base in the Moonstone color, one quart of tinted indoor primer, a small amount of white flat finish latex paint, one dense foam roller, one sponge brush, one paint tray, some poster board, scissors, a pencil, and a straight edge. And all of this should cost you under $40. The great thing about this project is some of you might already have most of these items at home and all you need to do is just buy the chalkboard paint. In which case, you're a lucky duck. Okay, now first what you need to do is clean your refrigerator and I mean really clean it. Try and get any dirt and grime off that you can. Next, take the sandpaper and just rub the entire exterior. Just rub it down. Basically with the sandpaper, you're just roughing it up a little bit to get any weird, uneven surfaces taken care of and also to make sure that the paint will stick to it. Okay, so once you've cleaned and sandpapered your refrigerator, take your painter's tape and tape off anything that you don't want to get paint on it. So I taped off the handles and the edges of the door just to make sure that I didn't get any paint inside the doors. Next, you're gonna take your roller brush and just prime it. Let it dry for 30 minutes to an hour. Once your primer is dry, you get to paint it, like legit, legit paint it. So take your Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. It's gonna be a nice, slight gray. That was the Moonstone color that I chose. Make sure you use the roller to roll on the base chalkboard paint onto the fridge so it really gets a nice, even coat. Now, I waited an entire day for the refrigerator to dry, but it's up to you. You should wait at least four hours to really let it sink in and dry. Next, you're going to make your pattern. Now obviously you can do whatever pattern you want. I decided to do a zigzag, exhibit A. So get your poster board, get your straight edge, and get your pencil. Do whatever pattern you want to do, but just make sure that you've measured it out and it's even and it's very precise. So now that you've created your stencil, apply it to the fridge and use your pencil and trace it on. Just like this. Now that you have your pattern traced onto the fridge, take your painter's tape and tape off the pattern. So essentially, Every other zigzag will be the dark base color that I painted on the fridge, and then every other zigzag will be the lighter color that I'm going to make. Next, it's time to create your lighter color. So take your color sample of white paint. Like I said, I only got this for a few dollars at Home Depot, and it's actually just a sample of white paint, so I didn't have to commit to a whole can of it. Um, and pour as much as you want into your chalkboard paint. It's really up to you how you want the color to vary. 
I wanted it to be a pretty dramatic dark gray and light gray, so I poured about a quarter of this white paint into my tray with the chalkboard paint in order to achieve the lighter look. And make sure you stir it really, really well, because you do not want uneven colored zigzags on your refrigerator. Or maybe you do. Now it's time to fill in your pattern. So people recommended to me to use the foam brush to fill in the zigzag, but I didn't like how the textures looked differently. So I rinsed my roller brush completely, got all of the old chalk paint out of it, and I used it to roll in the pattern. Now you're not going to be able to be very precise with that, so just do the, the most surface area that you can in your pattern with the roller brush, and then go back with the foam brush and fill in the spots that you can't do. The foam brush comes in very handy when you're trying to get in behind the handle. My handle doesn't come off my refrigerator. If you can unscrew it, that's great, but I couldn't. So the foam brush really came in handy there. Now this is very important. Once you've completely filled in your zigzag pattern, remove your painter's tape before the paint dries. If you let the paint dry while the tape is still on the fridge, then you're most likely going to have painter's tape painted onto your fridge and it will not come off. So make sure you remove it. When you're removing your painter's tape, be really slow and careful because it could disrupt the paint. So just be cautious to make sure that you're not screwing up your paint. And if you have to, you might have realized you were a little sloppy with the painter's tape, that's fine. Just use your foam brush and fill in some spots that you missed. Voila, you're done. I would wait at least two days before you start putting chalk on it, but just make sure that it's dry. Really, really make sure that it's dry before you chalk it. And then it's time to celebrate. Kiss those muscles of yours because you just made a sweet ass refrigerator. Whoop, whoop. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment below and tell me how your refrigerator painting went. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at Kylie Hodges or Twitter at the Kylie Hodges. And for all the details and written instructions on how to do this project, go to my blog, blondesided.com. That's B-L-O-N-D-E-S-I-D-E-D.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I miss you. Write me.